It would call me at 2 o'clock in the morning and say, hey, I've got a pistol in my hand. I didn't know what else to do but call you. It's a silent epidemic, and it doesn't get much attention. The increasing suicide rates of emergency service providers. Welcome in tonight. I'm Jim Dunaway. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and before it ends, some local firefighters want people to know about a project that could save lives. For more, we turn to CBS 42 News reporter Lee Garner. Well, Jim, nationwide firefighters are actually three times more likely to commit suicide than to die in the line of duty. That's according to the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. At the Alabaster Fire Department, it was a story like that that sparked the 911 Buddy Check Project. And I told them, I said, we really got to fix this. Like, there's, there's something wrong uh, with our people. It's a conversation Alabaster firefighter paramedic Daniel Mills had been having with first responder friends for months when one day he saw his old partner from the ambulance service, David Ferris, at the ER. He was a, he was a paramedic and a fireman, a nurse. Uh, he'd kind of, you know, done a lot and seen a lot. Um, I saw him at UAB one day. Uh, we were both dropping patients off, and he got off work the next morning and committed suicide. Mills knew something was wrong with David that day when they talked. But he didn't ask if he was okay. David's death changed everything. It started that day, is when I, I sat down with my friends and I'm like, let's think of a name. I said, I don't care what it is. And later, my buddy was just like, I want one buddy check. Mills served in the military and had seen similar things for veterans. You know, from 911 buddy check, I hope that y'all are having a phenomenal week. So he logged on Facebook. Every Wednesday, you know, I would just say, hey, if you're an emergency services provider, if you're dealing with some stuff, um, you know, any post traumatic stress, substance abuse issues, reach out. And it just exploded. I mean, it, I think we've got a little over three or four thousand followers on the page now. He shares his own demons as well as motivation. They teach us how to shoot, they teach us how to do CPR, they teach us how to, you know, everything from high angle rescue to hazmat, but they don't teach us how to deal with mental health stuff. Now, Mills says he wants to help break the stigma surrounding mental health and let other first responders know it's okay to not be okay. He estimates through the 911 Buddy Project, they've been able to help over a thousand people find some kind of counseling or care. In studio, Lee Garner, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.